Hello and welcome. My name is Clown, and uh, today we're gonna talk about pieces of my heart. Now, this is a this is a puzzle game, a logical jump from glass, where uh, that was also a puzzle game. So I'm gonna talk about another puzzle game. Uh, so this one, this one is kind of presented to you a little bit like uh, like you're going on a bunch of Tinder dates, which is you know pretty cool if you ask me, I guess. Uh, so you know you you navigate the menu, which is just your phone. And, uh, you know, you, you pick the girl. Some of them you have to unlock. There's like, I think, three or four at the beginning that you can just pick from. And you'll get the points to unlock the other girls. Don't you worry about that. Uh, however, once you pick the girl, you get a list of her likes, dislikes, and uh, a couple difficulties to pick from. So once you get into it, it's, uh, <laughs> well, you wouldn't believe my tell you that you put the pieces together uh, and it forms a coherent image. However, there's a twist. Not really, but there's like a little side tab that you can open where you're like messaging the girl. So you got to like attempt Riz. Now, luckily for us, they know that we're like, you know, you know, the average person who's be playing this game is definitely uh, handicapped in the Riz department. So you have two options. It's a 50-50 split as to whether you will fail or succeed in Riz, which is great because that's much better than any of our chances in real life. Because all we'll manage to do is metaphorically drop spaghetti from our pocket. And that's no good. So, uh, you know, game automatically overcomes realism once again. And all that really does is, uh, you can get like, uh, you can get images from them. It's kind of like if anyone's ever played Honey Pop, how you get, uh, you know, you get like a regular image and then you get a loot from the girls. It's kind of the same thing. So like in the first level with them in the first part of the date, it's completely SFW everything. But then we get to the second part of the date and oh, she, this is where the NSFW stuff comes in. Uh, the image, obviously NSFW is so at this point, you're assembling a lewd image. So, you know, you might want to be a little careful because it does take a little, it could take maybe like three, four minutes. So you're going to have three, four minutes of just rawness on the screen and you'll also get uh, text through it, which will give you even more of that stuff. So pretty cool. And then after you assemble the uh, lewd image, it boom comes to life and you can do a little bit, you know, you can do a little bit of an interact thing if you really want to, or you can just leave. And that's, uh, that's basically how you do the, the pieces of my heart thing. Then you pick another girl, do it all over again, and you can try and get, you know, all of the images and everything. And there's a bunch of different chicks and it's pretty nice. Uh, I think so far out of all the ones that I've played, I think I've done like five or six of them. Uh, I think I liked, you know, I liked the gamer girl, not because she's a gamer girl. Okay. I'm not delusional. I just kind of like that shorter hairstyle. That's my thing. Okay. And as far as what do I actually think about, like, what do I think about the, like the art and everything, all the lewdness, all the lewd drawings, how do I feel about it? Well, for one, I've probably been showing it. Thank God for NSFW first part of the date. That means I can just show you it except for maybe the dark skin girl. Cause she's just nipping all over the place. But, um, definitely not my favorite in terms of like general, like character looks and everything, but it's actually, I mean, it's fine. Also like, man, sometimes I really just do got that dog in me, which quick side tangent. I think that might not mean what I think it means, but I'm going to, you guys can use context and assume what I think it means. Basically I got that dog in me and that dog be too excited sometimes. So anything really works sometimes. Like I was fucking playing Ravager the other day, which I will eventually talk about, but if you've ever seen how the characters look in Ravager, yeah, not, not everything is uh super, super nice over there. But anyways, I think it, it's fine. It works. There's voice acting and I like the interactions and not to mention, once again, going back to my gamer girl, uh, I really like that position at the end. It has nothing to do with feet. Don't you dare slander the good name of clown and say that I like feet, but I do like this position here. Anyways, with that being said, this was all right. This was all right. And, uh, I hope you guys have a more than just all right day. Uh, and I'm going to be leaving until I see you guys again for the next time. Don't know when I'll be making a video on. Don't know when it's coming out, but I'll be there and you'll be square.